everybody. Um, today I got some vape mail I got home from Costco. Scenery's a little different back here. If you can't tell, I have a crap ton of reptiles. Um, but today was, well, not today, but this month of March is my one year of not smoking. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a mod for my one year. So I was looking at like the copper clones, like the Nemesis clones and stuff like that. And I kind of figured everybody has them. And the shop that I go to, the Vapors, they have some that are unbranded, which were which were cool. But I was like, man, everyone in town's going to have it. So I went online to see if I could find anything different. And I did. Found something fucking awesome. This thing came from um, the UK. The name of this mod, well, it's based after the Nemesis, the Nemesis, the design, everything. He even gives, he gives uh, props out to Atmo Mahani for the design and everything. So he stole it, but a lot of the, the threads don't match up at all to the regulars or the clones on these. But um, here is his clone version one. It's got the Stormtrooper on there. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but on the bottom here... It's an S and a V for Stealth Vape. Then on the back, it says Clone Version 1, which I find is awesome. But I think my favorite part about this thing is the bottom button. This thing is sick. So sick. Um, it's got your regular 510 connection on it on the inside there. And the adjustable airflow. The airflow works just like the other ones, just like the regular Nemesis ones. Let me go ahead and take this off. Silver plated. Comes with your little beauty ring. Right here. And so if you guys think about getting copper mods, and you if you do have a copper mod, just remember copper is soft. So don't crank the shit down because you're going to end up fucking it up. Just fair warning. I got to remember that myself because I'm used to twerking shit like crazy. Not twerking. Twerking. And then your 500 tube or kick for 650. And I like the fact that he um, didn't use the same threading except for the top cap. 650 tube And I'm not going to polish this one up. I'm just going to let it get dirty. Take the... Come on. Holy cow. There's a lot of threads on this part. Alright. Firing button. Silver plated. The rest of it's all copper. It's got a spring in there. The spring doesn't feel too bad, but the awesome part is he supplied magnets for it. So I can switch the magnets up for the switch. And then uh, your lock ring. I got to put something on here to make that a little bit more smoother. But Yeah, lock ring and then your main tube. That is so awesome. I just can't wait until this thing patinas up. Um, let me go ahead and throw this thing back together real quick. Um, well, well, I have my Taurus right there. We can use that. Because I bought some extra parts for it. Just to make it look sweet. Okay. And so on these, I've never owned a Nemesis or a Nemesis clone. So, but I heard that, um, the way to adjust for battery rattle and whatnot is, um, the firing button itself. Do that. Throw the 650 tube on. And they're smooth, really, really smooth threads. Get that guy on there. Uh, I guess we can pop a Sony in there. Yeah, use a Sony. Um. Let me go ahead and take this off of here. Uh, 
You know what? Wait one one second. I need to go grab something. Okay, so I bought some shit for it because I knew that I was going to get this thing. I need to clean that. Oh, it was crazy. Last night, I had usually all my vape stuff over here above this other cage right here, right? And so I noticed the shelf was getting a little, a little saggy. So I was like, I'll just, I'll take it down tomorrow, you know? So I, um... I'm trying to fall asleep, and then out of nowhere, just boom, 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 and I look over, and all of my shit fell. The the shelf fell down. Everything it scared the piss out of me, man. I'm surprised my the gecko that I have in there didn't freak out, cause I sure as shit did. Um. Okay, well, the one thing I picked up for this was. A black Taurus top cap. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's black Delrin. And it has the um, the the bull head engraved in there. Okay. And then I also got a copper drip tip. Now I don't know. I actually bought the the black um what do you call it? Top cap. Because my brother was going to get me a um, an AR mod. That's why I got it. But um, that ended up falling through. So I figured, what the hell? I have this thing. So, alright. I don't want to crank on that too much. Right? I think the, the lock ring I need to work in a little more. But ooh, 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 and she fires. Holy shit, yeah. It's like a fucking crazy. But let me know if you guys like this set up a little more because I'm kind of just sitting on the floor you guys see the cages back there the lighting seems to be a little bit better but um yeah this thing is wicked I love it love it love it and um actually at the end yesterday I got something so those of you guys don't know I have a um a 240 that I'm building but I threw an S13 front on it it's right hand drive now um, it's pretty much a project char car, but I got some stuff for it yesterday. Um, if you guys want to, it'll be at the end of this video. You guys can go ahead and see what I got. And, um, and if you guys want to see the car as I'm building it, I can throw in some videos of, of me working on the car and just the progress of it so you guys can see how it's coming along. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do a little bit more in-depth thing on this guy once I play around with it some more because right now I just it, it just came in the mail so I'll throw the the uh, magnets in the switch see how that works and um, yeah man just keep on vaping I already went ahead and opened up the box um, it's a ton of bubble wrap in there and then these are what's inside. Now I know this is different from what I normally post on this channel, but um, I was thinking I'd just go ahead and show you guys what I got today. Um, let's go ahead and open these up. And I'm just going to show you guys these. This is going on a build I'm doing. It's a SIL 80. I'm going to pop these open. I got these from eBay for, I want to say, 720 which usually go though. I saw them going for a lot more on there. So, 
the people I got them from, they um, did a pretty good deal with me. They had the best offer on there, so I shot them 700, and they were like, nah, we can't do seven, but we'll do 720. So right away I was like, oh, I'll take it. Okay, got all those stupid straps cut off. Go ahead and open them up. It looks like it hit a little bit right there. There they are. So awesome. Let me go ahead. This one right here is the rears. Oh, nice. Look at that. Packed with foam and everything. So here it is still in the plastic. They're 32 way adjustable. This knob right here. Okay. Slide this plastic off. Oh, here they are. So, so awesome. So pumped on these. So pumped. These are the uh, Godspeed Mono RSs. So awesome. Yeah, I just want to show you guys. Um, if you guys want tomorrow, I will show you the actual car that I'm working on. It's been a pretty long project. But um, that's what I got for you guys today. See you later.